What are, what are some tips or suggestions that you may have for a parent who's just trying to play this through in their mind and think, well, yeah, I, I, I reviewed last week and I saw I could have had a conversation at this time, this time, this time, but what do I say? How, how do I break the ice? What do I do? I think the key is, is to tie it into how it influences life, right? So, for example, a, a way to, to talk with children uh, around uh, their bodies and, and sexual process, there's often conversations about where do children come from, right? So it ties into to the, to the, to, to pregnancy. It ties into a, to a child being born, and you tie that together. It might be uh, as, 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 as kids are getting a little older, there's discussions about uh, uh, the relationships at the school and who's liking who and who's pairing off. So you tie it into relationships. So the question might be, oh, well, are, are, are they becoming physical? What's happening in that relationship? Are they holding hands? Are they doing the... And so it ties into how we teach about dating and as we're talking about coupling and, 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 and when's the proper time to, to date and to couple and those types of things. So I think when we tie it into to, to the, the aspects of life that, it, that it's, it's a part of, that helps it be not just a, we're talking about sex. Right? No, we're talking about life and relationships and, 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 and procreation and these types of things. I think that helps a little bit with us just saying, how, how do we bring that together? But I think sometimes we also just, we, it is a talk about sex and it is about sexuality and it is about that way that body is being displayed or the way that that's being, and being courageous to, to point that out and, and, and and, and not let our awkwardness get in the way sometimes. So one, one thing a parent can do is to jump in there and not necessarily talk about sex, but hey, how, how are your friends at school holding hands? How do you feel about that? I mean, make it about something that they're already experiencing that's very natural, but that is so indirectly and directly tied into their understanding of sexuality and intimacy and great suggestion. Something that helps me remember Though uh, some cues for me as a parent is I, I like acronyms. And so I have an acronym called ACT, A-C-T, that I use in my own parenting. And the A stands for affirm and acknowledge. So I'll affirm uh, curiosity and um, point out that our curiosities about bodies or people are, are good things. That's part of how we move forward in our learning and acknowledge that sometimes those things can be awkward or difficult to ask about or talk about, including for myself. And then the C is to connect, to really work on that relationship with my child that we can then collaborate on a discussion, that it's not just a one-way street, that it's, it, there's room for them to discuss concerns or questions or be a part of that discussion, especially when we get into media standards. And then the last thing is to teach, to prayerfully look for those moments where we can teach truth and contrast that against what they are seeing in the world and to make a stark um, division in their mind as to how gospel truths pertaining to the body relationships and the sanctity of, of marital relations differs from what they are being taught very effectively in the world around them. So that, that acronym ACT, it works for me as a parent just as a simple reminder of some things that I can be doing to make those openings for discussion fruitful and, and positive for both of us. I, I also seem to remember Elder Ballard making a suggestion that maybe for parents just to break the ice, all they simply need to do is ask a question and listen. And if we make these questions uh, about life and all the different things uh, that are in them, or just specifically about sex, what, how, how easy it is just to ask a question. Then the pressure is not on the parent to necessarily figure out what to say right then and there, but listen to their child and, and take advantage of those opportunities to affirm or to connect and to teach. So. Well, one idea that we haven't mentioned either is to read something together. There are some really wonderful books out there that um, are age appropriate for a range of, of ages that we could read something together, parent and child, or as an entire family and discuss it. 